Hi everyone, my name is Lisa Nichols and in this video I'm going to show you how to do multiple extractions. This is a follow-up from a previous video where I just did a single extraction and I took a pink methyl red aqueous solution and extracted it into ethyl acetate and separated it using a, a separatory funnel and was able to get these two different layers. A top organic layer and a bottom aqueous layer. So this is where I ended in the last video. I had the methyl red mostly extracted into the top layer, making it orange, and the bottom layer uh, looked pretty clear, so there weren't as many methyl red molecules left. But you know, there really could be some left, and um, not everything is going to have the same sort of distribution as methyl red. So in that case, you might want to do a multiple extraction. The whole idea is that there are still molecules left in that bottom layer, and can we get more of them out? you're basically gonna do that extraction again. So here's what you're gonna do. Let's bring in some new ethyl acetate. And you're gonna take that bottom layer, which in this case was an aqueous layer, and we're going to put it back into the separatory funnel. Again, the goal is to try to get more molecules out of it. use the funnel again and I pour my aqueous layer or my bottom layer back into the original separatory funnel. There's no need to clean the funnel in between um, a first extraction and a second one. It's all the same stuff still. So I pour my bottom layer in and then here's a fresh ethyl acetate portion. And I shake up the separatory funnel just like I did in the previous video. I put the stopper on and I turn it upside down, use two hands, give it a little vent and give it a good shake between 10 and 20 seconds. That's probably good. And now I let it settle down and um, let the layers form. Now here's something interesting. I think if you look at that top layer, I think it has a tinge of yellow in it. Don't you think? So that means that there were methyl red molecules still left in the bottom layer that by adding fresh ethyl acetate, I was able to extract into the top layer. So I did get a better yield of my methyl, methyl red. After that second extraction, now you want to separate the layers, which you do in the same way as before. Uh, take off the stopper, drain out the bottom layer. Stopping when the interface is right in the stopcock. go a little slower as it nears and then I stop right there stop uh-huh and then I'm gonna pour out the top layer and in this case I can just combine it with my previous top layer because the goal normally is to try to pull molecules into that top layer as much as possible so they're all the same thing so you may as well combine them together and that would be two extractions. Sometimes you do three extractions, but that's the general idea of multiple extractions.